the potential developing on each electrode is called electrode potential is called an electrode potential okay this understanding is vital that a potential will develop due to the separation of charges due to the competition between these two processes and whosoever wins according to that either it is this condition or it is this right and the moment you separate two charges the moment you do that immediately due to the setting up of an electric field you will have a potential difference between the two points Not in the electrolyte. So it's traveling in that. It it is being left on the on the electrode. It is being left on the electrode, and it is the positive ion which is jumping into the electrolyte. Mm. That's why it's becoming negative. That's now. that's this this zinc has left its electron onto the electrode and jumped into the solution. On the surface of the electrode, hmm. so that it can travel through the wires to. Uh, yes yes you can say that so that no because what is happening a tussle goes on okay in fact whatever is happening here is due to the tussle between copper and zinc here why does it actually happen that that i'll tell you that i'll tell you that i'll tell you zinc electron are more shielded than the copper electrons so the potential energy of a zinc electron is higher than that of the copper it is that atomic feature which is resulting into this the root cause is that and it's exhilarating when you know it okay it is due to that <coughs> So, so the cop, so the copper will not be able to travel. So, zinc electrons, being at a higher potential energy, have the propensity to to push into the copper rather than copper doing the reverse, vice versa. Okay. So, this concept of this tussle is due to that, and and it is due to this that the zinc wins. And many times it will it will also lose. Okay, if something with a higher potential energy of the electron comes in, then it will force the zinc to drink the electron. Right? So it goes like that. Then again, it depends which has a higher potential. Hmm. Hmm. So it comes from that atomic, atomic structure. <clears throat> right? Now this potential is called the electrode potential. okay this separation of charge so so let me write that the zinc electrons are at a higher potential the zinc electrons are at a higher potential <coughs> electrons electrons in the atom at the atomic level the zinc electrons are at a higher potential than the copper electrons Hmm? 
the this enables the electron transfer from Zn to Cu. Okay. Currently, when when this is not supplying the electrons, the tendency is for in, in view of this. So somehow it knows it. In view of it, the Cu two pluses jump here, leaving this negative. And, and currently there is no electron supply from here. Okay, so Cu the electrode is not doing any work. The Nothing. Is yeah. Okay. Electrode electrolyte is pushing the ions onto the electrode, and this is sticking to the positive, so that this becomes negative. Now, now, now suddenly what will happen, this will supply this electron. So and what happens, this will become, this will become, this will become neutral, this will tend to become neutral. Mm -hmm. If this negative is getting swept away, so this tends to become neutral and also this, because this was positively charged. Mm -hmm. This electron actually transfers here, so this becomes neutral, this becomes neutral. You see a positive and negative touch each other, they are trying to become neutral. Now what happens? So these remain positive and this remains negative. Correct. Now a positive trying to jump like that. Okay, it, it is this kind of situation. This is the electrode of zinc. Okay. Now if a positive is trying to push through this, this, then it is going against an electric field and it will have to do a huge amount of work. This is this is your electrode of zinc. Okay, so anything that tries to push, if Zn2 plus tries to go like this, then it faces an opposing force. So, so, so after some time that transfer will stop. Now when does it pick up? When you neutralize this, when you neutralize this, and, and how do you neutralize it? The salt. The salt bridge. So from the salt bridge, what will happen? The negative charges, they'll travel like this and the positive charges travel like that. This neutralization has to happen. Otherwise, now, now again see how, and how beautiful it is. Cu2 plus trying to go like that faces an electric field like this. Why does not this U particle go into the uh, electrolyte because due, it's being pushed? Due to, due to this. See, if you cut this wire and put this, nothing is going to happen. It is only when it sees a zinc, which is giving electrons, then that happens. If you actually cut this wire, cut this salt bridge, and, and just dip it, it nothing will, nothing is going to happen. It just remains like that. So it is always with reference to something that these things will happen. And now we are coming to a more interesting kind of thing. Now you will understand. So how does it know what is beside by this wire? How do we know what will happen? That we will see. Okay. Okay. So, so, so you see, if Cu2 plus is trying to go from here to there, it, it, it is an uphill. So, so that will also stop after some time and that's why this equilibrium is maintained. That means no more zinc comes in and no more copper goes to the electrode. Understand? That is what we are talking about, the equilibrium sets in. After the separation, the equilibrium sets in and a potential develops. Okay. Yeah, and it has it has a hell lot of things to do with physics. It's all physics operating underneath all this. 
Okay, so if we understand the electrostatics and the and the electrostatic potential, you understand chemistry. So at some time the current also stops flowing. That salt bridge is not able to transfer. Hmm. Then then the salt bridge has to be changed. So what does salt bridge actually do? It just transfers the electrons or it neutralizes this. Like neutralizes this and this. How does it neutralize it? So it transfers the electrons hmm. and the positive ion. Hmm. It transfers again due to that gradient. Here, here a positive thing becomes, so it automatically starts coming like that. It does not absorb, absorb anything. Hmm? The salt bridge does not absorb anything. It just neutralizes. Rather, rather it gives ions. So after some time it gets exhausted. So it's like completing a circuit. It completes the circuit. It completes the circuit. Yes. After some time, if the salt bridge is not there, then nothing is. So, so you, you can now, now very well understand the electrons are going like this, the electrons are going like this, like this, and, and, and a positive charge is moving like this, and the electrons are going like that. So, positive charge moving here is like electron going like this, electron going like this, electron going like this, and electron, electron, electron. This is, this is how it flows. Current flows from a place of higher potential to a lower potential. Hmm. Higher to lower. Current flows from a of lower potential to higher. Current flows from lower to higher. You'll understand. You'll understand. See, it's it's quite understandable. This is the electric field. Uh, no, it 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 flows from higher to lower. Sorry, it flows from higher to lower. Uh, I I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, if if there's an electron here, it has a tendency to move like that. So electrons flow from lower to higher, electrons which is which which is which is at a higher potential, A or D? A, because if you take take a plus one coulomb from B and try to push it to A, you will be doing the work. Always move in the direction in which you have to do the work. The moment you do that, so this is at a higher potential. So a negative charge always will flow from a lower to a higher potential. And our conventional current is opposite to it. So current is flowing from the higher to the lower potential. Okay. So the direction of the current is from? From current, current is flowing like this. But zinc is at a higher potential. No, wait, wait, relax. You can't. It'll it'll travel like that. Okay. The current is moving like this. Fine. And current will always move from a higher to a lower potential. We we'll understand what is happening. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. The current is moving like this. The electrons are moving like. Okay. <clears throat> now we come to that, what you are saying. So this electrode is negatively charged and this is positively charged. What happens when you look at the electrode? Okay, so how does the electric field set up from positive to negative? So this is E. Which is at a higher potential? This. This is at a lower potential. So the electrons will flow in the opposite direction. So the current will flow like that. electrons of the thing. 
electrons of the zinc, not the zinc electrode. Okay, so so actually this starts happening. This this. And this is always sought to be neutralized by the by the salt bridge, right? We understand, understand. 